Good morning everyone, myself Dr. Amrita Agarwal from the Department of Oral Medicine and Radiology. Today I am going to discuss about cone beam computed tomography that is CBCT. These are the contents of the, uh, my topic. First, uh, I will discuss history in brief introdu and introduction, principles, image acquisition and clinical considerations, image artifacts, strengths and limitations specific applications in dentistry and conclusions uh, so i'm going to discuss history in a brief this technology has been given several names including dental volumetric to uh, tomography cone beam volumetric tomography dental computed tomography and cone beam imaging but why because it is a digital analog of film to uh, tomography in a more exact way than in traditional computed tomography that is ct the X-ray is either conical or pyramidal and the technology is not related to dentistry. So uh, Godfrey Hunswilt and Alan Cormack uh, got the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1979. It was invented by Hunswilt in England at the end of 1960s independently developed by Cormack in the US both shared the Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1979. CBCT is a rare technology initially developed for angiography in 1982. The cone beam technology was first introduced in the European market in 1998 and into the US market in 2001. This is the uh, pic pictures of CBCT that is uh, this one is the Newtom 9000, uh, Newtom 3G and this is the ICAT machine. These are two of the most common types of corn beam machines. The Newtom constructed in Italy first appeared in the market in the late 1990s and the American iCat which has the patient sitting in a chair. Coming to the introduction part, radiation doses for CBCT scan is in dentistry is nearly equal to that of two Panorex films or OPG films and about 1 50th of the radiation of a conventional medical grade CT scan. It also helps a clinician to measure the quality of alveolar bone surrounding each implant fixture. All these make CBCT a more precise diagnostic and tool in providing greater clinical confidence in the placement of dental implants than conventional radiography. The total radiation is approximately 20% of that of a helical CT and can be equivalent to exposure during a full mouth periapical series. CBCT planning software permits to it measure the distance, angle and position of the teeth as well as implants in relation to other anatomical structures. It analyzes the bone density, it identifies the mandibular nerve and the presence of an anterior loop. It stimulates the bone grafts. It predicts the final prosthetic outcome. It places implants for the orthodontic anchorage. This is a, these are the pictures of CBCT machines. In CT, uh, the difference, uh, the main difference between the CT and the CBCT is uh, in CT, there, uh, uh, the radiation is fan shaped or uh, beam is used in CT, and in CBCT, ra uh, radiation is cone beam. Craniofacial CBCT was designed to counter some of the limitations of earlier generations of CT scanning devices and to make 3D technology practical for dentistry. The radiation source consists of a conventional low radiation X-ray tube and the resultant beam is projected onto a panel detector producing a more focused beam and considerably less scatter radiation compared to the helical CT devices. This is the X-ray source and this, these are the scanners. This, scanner, this is a gantry and this is the patient lying on the table and this is the x-ray source and this, these are, there are the detectors present on this gantry. So when x-ray source started, these are the detectors. It revolves around the patient and detectors uh, detect the image and this image is projected onto the computer. 
So difference between the data capture system of CT and CBCT is a CT machine captures the data in a fan shaped beam like this. This uh, CT uh, captures the data in this fan shaped linear fan shaped beam and cone beam uh, computer tomography uses a cone shaped beam. These are the pictures showing the X-ray source. This is the fan of X-rays. This is the patient and these are the detectors. And this is, uh, is the diagram showing the CBCT, working of CBCT. This is the X-ray source. This is the cone of X-rays and this is the patient. This is the detector. So CT uh, um, capture the images only in one direction that is the axial direction and a computer uh, gather the image uh, from the 3D image in an, uh, uh, by detecting the ex image in the ex axial direction only but CBCT uh, capture the image in three directions that is axial direction sagittal plane and what is the principle uh, CBCT gives multiplanar projections at is it acquires the image in all three directions axial uh, sagittal and uh, coronal plane multiplanar uh, projections are acquired by rotational scan to produce a volumetric data set from which interrelational images can be generated CBCT is a recent technology imaging is accomplished by using a rotating gantry to which an x-ray source and detector are fixed as it was seen in the previously shown diagram a divergent pyramidal or cone shaped source of ionizing radiation is directed through the middle of the area of interest onto an area x-ray detector on the opposite side the x-ray source and detector rotate around a rotation fulcrum fixed within the center of the region of interest during the rotation, multiple from 150 to more than 300 slices plus sequential planar projection images of the field of view are acquired in a complete or sometimes partial arc. This procedure varies from a traditional medical CT which uses a fan shaped x-ray beam in a helical progression to acquire individual image slices of the field of view and then stakes the slices to obtain a 3D representation. Each slice requires a separate scan and separate 2D reconstruction. Because CBCT exposure incorporates the entire field of view, only one rotational sequence of the gantry is necessary to acquire enough data for image reconstruction. Acquisition ge uh, geometry of conventional or fan shaped beam on the right side and cone shaped beam on the left side. This is a cone beam geometry. These are the uh, multiple slices. Cumulatively, it is known as basis projection. Then there is secondary reconstruction, which is done by the computer and gives the 3D image in all the three directions. This is the fan shaped beam. These are the uh, images only in the axial uh, uh, sections and the uh, primary reconstruction gives the 3D image. This is the field of view. Field of view is a small, this is small field of view, this is medium field of view and this is the large size field of view. Scanners using image intensifiers and charge coupled devices as their detectors describe the dimensions of the spherical field of views in cubic centimeter. Scanners can be grouped into three categories based on their largest unstitched field of view. A scanner with a large FOV will show the roof of the orbits and nasion down to the higher bone. These scanners usually have a FOV height equal to a greater than 16 cm are useful for cephalometrics and traditional orthodontic service. This large FOV is used in uh, orthodontic applied uh, service. Medium FOV scanners will capture the middle of the orbits down to menton vertically and condyle to condyle horizontally. Such scanners are useful for panoramic and implant surveys but not for cephalometric analysis. Scanners with a small FOV capture a user defined region usually symmetrical in shape and such scanners are used for implant surveys, TMJ surveys and the localization of impacted teeth. This is cone beam CBCT. This is the X-ray source. This is cone beam. This is the flat panel detector attached to the gantry to capture the image. These are the different planes in which uh, the uh, CBCT capture the data. This is the excel plane. This is the 
coronal plane and this is sagittal plane image acquisition next how the image is uh, acquisition occurs first there is x-ray generation then image detection system then image reconstruction and image display first the uh, x-ray generates in a cone beam and then image is detected on the flat panel detectors which is attached to the gantry and image reconstruction uh, is done with the help of a projection basis and then image display is, uh, is displayed on the computer that is secondary reconstruction thank you